Hey guys, this is Matt from Matt's Tech Blog, and I'm going to do a walkthrough of um, Tails, just kind of a little guide for everything on here. And uh, we'll get in here and load it up. Now it is a little bit slow with uh, Screencast O Matic over this virtual machine, and uh, I'm not sure why the mouse is so whatever. But you'll you'll see how it doesn't like to work very well. So I've tried different settings, and this is the unlaggiest I can get the mouse, and it's still fairly laggy. You guys have any tips on how to get this not so laggy? Uh, go ahead and post in the comments. I am while I know a little bit, I don't know everything, and I love to learn new stuff. So uh, when I learn, I like to teach others and hopefully inform others. So that's another reason why I'm doing my blog here. So we're going to go into the start menu here, and um, I'll just use the keyboard here. And I'm going to go over things. The archive manager is kind of like WinZip or 7-Zip for compressing and stuff, you know, zipping it up. Calculator, it's a basic calculator. Gedit text editor is a basic text editor. Um, <clears throat> think notepad. Key pass X is a password manager. Um, if you are going to be doing the uh, um, alternative U using Tor and not and keeping yourself separate from uh, keeping your normal activities separate from your Tor or Tails activities, which I highly recommend you do. Um, you definitely want to use this so you don't have to remember all your usernames and passwords for the different places. Uh, metadata anonymization toolkit that is great for clearing out metadata information on like pictures, images, text files, just about anything. Because when you create a file, there's a little bit of information saved, and if it's a camera, it'll say it's a date time if it's got a GPS device in it it'll save GPS locations and a whole bunch of other stuff um, and it can be <clears throat> if you want to share images and things without being able to be caught easily or um, you know say you're a whistleblower or a journalist or something it can really help out the root terminal is um, a terminal that interacts with the command line interface um, with super user privileges, I highly recommend that you do not use that unless you absolutely have to or you know what you're doing because uh, you can screw the system up. I mean, it's hard if you're, you can't really do it to the tails if you're running it from a DVD, which is kind of cool. But if you are uh, using tails on a computer and it's got a hard drive in it, you could inadvertently delete everything. And that's not cool. There's a the search for files. Um, take a screenshot and the terminal. If you want to mess around with the command line interface with Linux, I would recommend using terminal as opposed to root terminal. <laughs> uh, we'll go down to graphics. It's got GIMP, the GNU Image Manipulation Program, Linscape, and OpenOffice.org Draw. Those are basically the same. Uh, they're different programs like Photoshop. So that's basically what they are. Um, Scribus is, I'm going to open that up for us. Uh, hopefully I can, ah, this is very nice. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, okay. That is not going to open up. Um, no, there we go. It's uh, open source desktop publishing software. And I'm not sure if you guys use it. I haven't had a need to use this for any kind of marketing or whatnot. <clears throat> the reason that I it is running so slow is because the system, I set the system down to only use 50% of my processing power and only one CPU, so it's uh, 
uh, was trying to get rid of the lag here. Um, and it's made it less laggy, but it's still laggy. And hopefully you know what this is, and if you want to use it, you can. And we'll, uh, and then we can start creating stuff. So we'll go back to the, um, the there we go. Uh, simple scan is a, a scanner. If you have a scanner, you can use that program to the scanner um, and you can get information scanned that maybe you shouldn't or maybe you need to covertly acquire. Clause mail. If you've used Outlook, it's like that. It's an email um, client where you can get your stuff. There's Gobi or Gobi uh, Collaborative Editor. I don't know why there's two versions of that. They do look separate or different when I open them up. I've never worked with other people over vast distances, but I can see the use from that. There's the I2P. That is an, an anonymization um, program that I will get more into in a separate post later on, and I will help walk you guys through setting it up and whatnot once I actually understand it enough to where I can help you out with that. That might not be for a while, but it is something that I'm going to be doing. Um, Iceweasel web browser. If you use Firefox, Chrome, or Internet Explorer, those are all web browsers, and this is one of those. This is based off of Mozilla's Firefox, um, and it is a pretty good, decent browser. I have to say, I like it. Of course, I like Firefox. Um, there's Liferia Feed Reader. <clears throat> Hopefully, I pronounced that right. It's a news feed aggregator type thing. There's Pigeon Internet Messenger. The Pigeon Internet Messenger allows you different instant messaging, different messengers like uh, AIM and, and ICQ and all that. Um, again, if you're wanting to do that, don't sign into your usual ones because um, it's just not recommended while you're doing this. You're only as anonymous as you keep yourself, and if you give your name out, you can easily or more easily be tracked. Uh, there's the unsafe web browser. In some instances, in public places, when you go to get Wi Fi, it will ask for you to put like a, uh, it'll redirect you to agree to terms of service or um, ask for the password for the day or whatnot. And this is used for that. Once you put that in, quit, you don't use it. That's the only browser that does not use, does not go through Tor. Every other bit of data goes through Tor, and it's one of the reasons why Tor isn't exactly fast, um, but, you know, it, it gets you going. Here's the openoffice.org suite. Um, if you use Microsoft Office Suite, it's just like that. And they've got everything in there that you can do with Microsoft Office. I personally do not like Open Office. But it's here and it does the job if you need it. There's programming. Poedit is a um, well. Let me show you. It is a translation helping software. Um, I've not used it, and I might learn to use it later. I can see value in it, especially for people on uh, on this web here on the. Let me get this open here and then go down to sound and video. There's Audacity. It's a, let me hover over here and then go back. It's, you can record and edit audio files. There's a audio CD extractor, it rips music from your CDs. Um, Brazero disc burner, <clears throat> pretty good system. I use it a lot when I use my Linux. Uh, movie player it's a you know it's a movie player it has a wide range of uh video sources that you can play from uh the tv or the tv video editor it allows you to edit video um there's the sound recorder and traverso is a multi-track sound recorder um and there's system tools there's the configure persistent volume you can create one um let's say you had you know, several gigabyte USB drive, 
you install tails on it it's got a lot of extra space you can configure the rest of that space to be used by um, tails it'll encrypt it and it'll be on the fly encryption and as, if you use a nice strong password then it can be very very difficult to crack I mean nothing is impossible all it takes is time and then resources um, and you can be found or tracked or whatnot but this would make it extremely difficult to you know your files would be pretty much safe if you chose a big strong long passphrase um, there's disk utility you can do remote or local file uh, disks there's the file browser um, it's like a file manager log file viewer system monitor I highly recommend running this it's kind of cool because then you can see um, the CPU percent uh, CPU percentages that you're using the amount of memory that you're using um, I gave it about a gig of memory and it's only using 190 right now which is pretty decent the system tails does not need a whole lot to run and um, it may look like it's slow dragon but it's actually the software that I'm using to record uh, this that's slowing it down when this recording software is going it is not slow at all it is nice and speedy on here um, let's go back to here there's the tails installer it allows you to install tails the tails upgrader which um, doesn't seem to do anything but hopefully it updates that the whisper back if you have a bug uh, you want to report you can always send information like that in there is this is redundant I don't know why they have it in both um, I just don't understand that and it's been like that for several versions ever since I started 0 0.17 um, with the exception of the upgrade it's new there's universal access there's dasher which is a predictive key uh, text thing Florence Virtual Keyboard, that's pretty nice. Uh, virtual Keyboard, Orca Screen Reader and Magnifier. If your eyes start failing you, you might be using that a lot. Or if you are visually impaired. Um, places allows you to hook your, uh, you can connect to the computer and connect to the computer's hard drive. I do not like running a Tails on a laptop with a hard drive because um, people that know what they're doing can connect and get to my file system and then if it's a hard drive that I use they can gain access information to find out who I am what I am what I'm doing I know it's a little bit paranoid but it can be done system in here there's the preferences this really isn't uh, anything out of the ordinary um, it's basic stuff to personalize your experience administration there's uh, power off, printing, reboot, and the package manager. There's help, which is offline help. It's all on here, so you don't have to be on the internet to do this. And then about tails. One thing I like about this, um, if you pull the USB or eject or even power off, let me get this going here. It's going to um, start wiping the memory. And you'll see that with da uh, asterisks or whatever going across the screen. There they go. And that is wiping the memory that's using that. So if, you, um, if you're doing something that you don't want to get caught, say um, your mom doesn't want you reading Japanese anime or something, you can pull out the USB if she walks in and uh, it'll immediately shut down. She won't be able to see what's going on and she won't be able to get into the hard drive and see uh, what's going on because it's not there um, thanks for allowing me to walk you through this tales and hopefully we'll have more of this stuff going uh, I hope you like what I'm doing and I'm gonna try to do more of it I like teaching people about computers and technology and stuff and I hope you guys like it too